Hi there, handbaggers, and welcome to another episode of the Car Chronicles from the Duck's Nest. This is the Military Mom, and in this video, I am going to share with you the bag of the day, and I want to share a bag that I am so happy to finally have in my collection. And the bag of the day is this one. This big old unwieldy piece of leather is my favorite handbag in my collection. This handbaggers is my Dooney and Burke drawstring by Boldrini made, handmade of Florentine leather. And yes, I am crazy about this bag. It doesn't even fit my handbag personality, but it's the BDC. It's the bomb.com. And there's only two things I would change about this bag. First of all, let me bring it in so you can see the silver hardware and the white stitching. The white stitching, I'm not crazy about at all, but because of the silver hardware, I understand, I think, why it has white stitching. But yeah, I would definitely change that. The other thing I would change is the lining. I would have added my favorite lining of all handbag designers in my collection, and that is the Bird's Eye Twill or the gingham or whatever Dooney and Burke calls it. It's the Dooney and Burke um, lining that lines the Dillon bags, the gingham. I would have done that and this bag would be over not only the moon, but it would be over the stars and the planets and everything because I just, yes, I just, uh, you can tell, right? All right, so let me show you really quickly what I'm carrying and then we'll move on to the reveal and then we will wrap up. I was carrying my Yeti in um, this bag, but I was drinking from it, so I took it out. The other thing I'm carrying is, there's a plane right over my head. Give me a minute. All right, the other thing I'm carrying is this pouch that I bought from eBay. It's a leather pouch and I keep my keys in it and I thought it coordinated well with the hang tag that I have on the front of the bag. And then I am carrying somewhere back here, my, what I'm calling my Fly Boo 86 large frame kiss lock because uh, this is the one, uh oh, this is the one that she inspired me to buy. And let me just say this, Fly Boo 86, if you're watching, I think we are all in solidarity with you over the foolishness um, regarding your latest video. And I, I told you I'm personally praying for you. So yeah, not sure what that was all about, but know that we stand with you definitely. All right, so that, and then um, the only other thing in here, honestly, is this pouch. And you all, again, this is not a pretty piece. It's, it's not pretty, it's not exciting, but here at the Duck's Nest, we're all about functionality, quality and affordability and this little pouch by will fits the bill because it holds my phone it holds my fold over card case that i'm using as a wallet by coach it holds my keys and then some um yeah so the leather is incredible just like the leather on the boldrini drawstring so yeah that's what i'm carrying today that is the rig that I have and um, yeah there's nothing else that's just that's it all right now I'm so glad to be able to have someone to share this reveal with because I am so excited about this and this reveal is from my handbag heart which is of course Dooney and Burke and this bag you all is the Olivia Satchel in Brown T. Moro, but that is not all. This particular iteration of the Olivia, I've wanted in my collection because of these rolled handles with the buckle adjustment. And let me tell you where this came from. A couple of years ago, Suz What gifted me a bag that is gray patent leather, and it had these rolled buckle handles. And you all, I fell in love 
with these handles. And I have always loved Olivia because she had side pockets. And if you follow my channel or drop by occasionally, you know I have to have exterior pockets on my bags. But I personally think that the side pockets are somewhat more functional than either a front or a back pocket. So I really wanted Olivia because of the side pockets, but I wanted the iteration with the rolled handles with the buckle. And yes, I finally got it in my collection. And I'm so happy. And all of us are familiar with Olivia. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, but just in case you happen to drop by and you've never seen the Olivia satchel, let me show you that she is a barrel style bag with feet. Here's the logo plate. Here's the interior logo patch in leather and cursive. And like I've already mentioned, side pockets, she has a um, endless braid zipper pull. She opens nice and wide. And SDS standard duty setup, which is of course a zip and a slip on the back wall. And then the two slip pockets on the front wall, all collared in leather. And this bag has a really nice capacity. She's, in my handbag personality, she's trending toward the larger size. Um, this is large for me. Not as large as that monster I, I'm carrying back in the day, but yeah. So she has the piping, which is what I wanted. I mean, this bag is everything that I wanted. And I would also have liked if she had been lined with the bird's eye twill, but I mean, I would be happy if every bag of mine was lined in bird's eye twill, but this one is lined in the red cotton, which is fine. That's like my second favorite lining. So yeah, there you have it, handbaggers. And, and look at this, yes! My Flyboo 86 large frame kiss lock is the perfect complement for this bag. Piping, yes. All right, so that is what I wanted to share with you all. Just so happy to share it with someone who appreciates handbags. All right, thank you all for stopping by. And as always, happy carrying.